Tomorrow, it will be three weeks since Molly Bish disappeared from her lifeguard post at Commons Pond. While well, John and Snyder Maggie Bish are reaching out for information that may lead investigators to find out what to happened the day to Molly. Since teenage lifeguard Molly Bish disappeared right. in Warren. These are two people facing the worst fear of any parent. Investigators continue yep. to work around the clock, tracking down leads that may solve the disappearance of Molly Bish. Our family has experienced pain, uh, emotional, uh, psychological, and spiritual pain beyond uh, anyone's imagination. Our Molly was abducted, and um, for three years we had to wait. We didn't know who or why someone had taken her. When Molly went missing, a search did not begin until hours after her disappearance, and we all are aware of the grim statistics uh, when a child is missing if too much time goes by. We want the search to go on immediately. In a sense, we want to overreact whenever there's a child missing. And there are resources available beyond what law enforcement can do. Amongst the earliest people that came to help us were the civilian search and rescue teams in Massachusetts. They put out a hard, hard day. We came back that night and it was a, a long, stressful day and we knew they hadn't found Molly. And I think probably it was one of the many, many hard days because I almost had to have more courage, I think, than some of them because they couldn't give me what I wanted, but I had to hold my head up and thank them, despite, you know, not getting what I hoped could end the nightmare. And I looked into their eyes and I knew they'd worked as hard as they could, and it's like they wouldn't have wanted to come back and they had to come back and say, we don't have her and we don't know where she is. And all I could do was thank them. And I knew as soon as I turned around, I would fall to pieces, but I wanted them to know how much their work and their efforts meant to us. The civilian search and rescue teams of Massachusetts are our heroes. They devote time, energy, and effort. And they are one amongst the best kept secrets in Massachusetts, particularly the mounted unit. When it comes to a missing child, we always say that a bloodhound is, is, is their best friend. Perhaps their second best friend, if not their first best friend, is a horse because it can get rescue personnel there sooner and more effectively. The Massachusetts Mounted Search and Rescue Team make ourselves available to assist with lost person searches, lost animals, or any kind of emergency situation where we can use either our mounts or our equipment to assist. When the mounted search and rescue team is activated, we show up at a scene and we're ready to roll. Our horses are tacked, we have food for a couple of days, we are fully prepared to be deployed. The team captain will then go to the command post and evaluate the situation, get instructions, the, the information on the lost person, the terrain anything that might give us, you know, some assistance in finding this person. There's a number of advantages to having, using a horse in a search and rescue. Horses have an incredible sense of sight, hearing, and smell. Ask any trail rider, they'll tell you, the horse sees the deer running across the path long before we do. That combined with their height gives us a much better vantage point. You can see much farther, you can see in different directions. We are often very familiar with the terrain because we are all trail riders and we are out on these trails a lot. We can also carry equipment on horseback, we can pull things, we can transport the uh, victim, hopefully, that we find on the horse, so there's, there's a whole multitude of ways to, that they can be used. The Massachusetts Mounted Search and Rescue Team does not cost the taxpayers one dime. We all maintain our own horses, trucks, and trailers. Everything you see on my horse now that's orange <laughs> uh, is purchased by me. 
We bring our own food. We bring our own food for the horses. We're strictly a volunteer organization just trying to lend assistance and help out those in need. The Massachusetts Mounted Search and Rescue Team has only been activated roughly about four or five times. Um, we're, you know, we, we train hard, we work hard, we're a little disappointed that we haven't been utilized more because I think we can be very useful in a lot of situations. It is frustrating to know that there's a search and that we didn't get called out right away um, at the beginning when we knew it's a terrain that we could handle with the horses and we would be great at. We have a very viable resource that is, has been underused and that uh, we really have a, a tremendous capability and we feel we could make an extreme difference in any searches and in, in, in uh, recovery of lost people. There is no room in today's world for not employing every possible resource for any thinking that uh, does not employ every possible resource for the search of a child or a missing loved one. I think people would be outraged, would be very angry, and it, it may very well be characterized as criminal negligence not to employ every possible resource to search for someone. If a child is missing, then you pull out all guns. You do whatever you have to do. Every resource should be available. And I am sure if they were sitting in my seat speaking and their child was missing, they would say the exact same thing. Till that day when Molly went missing, we thought like every other family, this will never happen to us. And it won't happen in our safe, small, central Massachusetts community. But it did. It did with very, very tragic uh, consequences for us as a family, for our friends, and, and for our community. And we were not prepared. I believe that if the mounted civilian search and rescue team were employed immediately in Molly's case, I do believe it would have made a difference. In fact, I don't think we'd be sitting here talking today. To date, investigators have received some 2,000 pieces of information. Then finally, on June 9th, investigators confirm once and for all. We're able to completely identify the remains as those of Molly.